Hi everybody, welcome back to Light Fragments Oracle. I'm so happy that you are here today with me. We're going to talk about a couple of things before I get into the makeup today. The first thing is about the company Timu. I remember when Timu reached out to me and I was ecstatic about showing their products on my channel and I really didn't listen to anybody talk to me about what Timu stood for. And I'm sort of in the same spot as I was then. Even after all of the hubbub, after all of the information that has come out, I look at it like this. Since 9-11, with the Patriots Act. Nothing that we have is private anymore. Nothing. And our country has been doing business with China for a long, long time. Good, bad, or indifferent. So for me, if I go shopping at Walmart or Target or even some of the bigger brand stores, a lot of the clothing is made in China. In fact, some of the politicians that wear the clothing that they wear and pay big bucks for is made in China. Does that make it right? I don't know. What is right? To me, if I can get products for a discounted price on Timu and they're decent quality, then I'm going to order and I'm going to use them. But as far as being an affiliate for Timu, I'm not doing that anymore. It's really a business. It's almost like a multi-level marketing company where you have to put all of your eggs in that basket and focus on that. And that's not what I'm about. I'm an eclectic human being. I like to have all kinds of affiliate codes for all kinds of different products to offer my subscribers a discount, basically, and to review and try the products on my channel. But as for Timu, I've placed probably five orders since I've known about Timu. And I would say that 75% of everything that I've gotten is good and works just fine. I mean, my husband's car charger, that thing charges my phone while we're driving lickety split. Way better than any charger that I've purchased in my area. And my little iron, my little steam iron, that's amazing. The shirts that I've ordered... They're not 100% cotton, but I get compliments on them all the time. So if you're going to walk in a Dollar General, or you're going to go into a Walmart, or you're going to go into wherever and purchase products, it's likely that a lot of those products are made in China. Or there's some sort of affiliation with the brand in this country affiliated with China. So look, it's six of one, half dozen of another, and I'm just not going to spend my time worrying about it and stressing about it. I'm going to do the best that I can. You do the best that you can, and we'll leave it at that. And I just placed another Timu order. Okay, moving on. At the end of this video, I'm going to ask you to try to stay to the end I'm going to try to put timestamps in for you just in case you don't want to watch the makeup. And I am going to do a channeling from Elijah. Not a really, really long one, but that's totally up to Elijah. Because the energy of this month, we're at the halfway mark of August. And we've still got to make it to the end of the month with all of these planets in retrograde to the next full moon. 
And I know that the energy is wonky. It's been wonky all summer, in case anybody hasn't noticed. And that's because there are big, big changes happening for our planet, for the global community, for constructs that are breaking down and new ones rising up. So we're going to see what Elijah has to say. My guess is that it's going to be a message that is going to be personal for some of you. And it's going to be a general message for a lot of you. So let's get into the makeup. I'm going to be trying on, and this is going to be the last foundation that I purchase for a while. I've gotten enough foundations. I'm going to focus on some other products that I would like to show. And I have some companies that have reached out to me and they are sending me products to try. So this is my last foundation review for at least a month. But this is the Revolution IRL Filter in F10 Longwear Foundation Breathable Soft Matte. Oil free. I'm going to, I don't, I'm going to give it a shake, but I don't think it needs to be shaken. It looks like it's quite the dense foundation. Okay, so that's one pump. That looks like it's going to be a really good match to my skin with a little bit of a tan. And you can see that I'm getting a tan right here. And this is not a lot of days in the sun. Believe me, not a lot of days. I will try to insert a picture in here. When I was in college, how dark I would get in the summertime. It does have a smell, but it's it's nothing that I would call objectionable. I wonder if I should put my headband on. I think I'll be okay. Okay, let's... I'm going to put this on with the Machillo brush. And then I am going to pat it with a moist beauty blender. Speaking of beauty blenders... This beauty blender came from Timu. This is one of the nicest beauty blenders I have ever purchased. And what, what I like about this beauty blender is that it's not really porous. It's like if you look at it close up, even with a magnifying glass, you can, you can barely see any of the little sponge dots. It's almost, they're almost not visible and it gives the foundation a really nice, even look. So let's put this on with the Machillo brush, which I'm loving. I just haven't been using it because I'm saving it for special times. One of the things that you can do with the Machillo brush is you can put the foundation right on the brush. It's flat. And then you can apply your foundation that way. Okay, I thought that this foundation was going to be a little darker. But I guess not. It does have, it's not a smell that makes me sick like some of the foundations that I've gotten rid of. Um, I think they might be in my stash or trash box. But 
it's it does have a smell but it's tolerable and it 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 fades away really quickly like I can't smell it anymore okay look at this foundation honestly this looks just like my skin this I'll do that another time I'm gonna put on another application of this I know that some of you like that very light foundation look I'm from the 70s if I'm gonna wear foundation I want it to at least do what it's supposed to do. Okay? That's just me. That's how I feel. And if you're a guy and you want to wear makeup, you may not want that look. I'm going to tap a little bit of it under my eyes. Okay, let's go back with the brush. This time, I'm not going, I'm just going to be very gentle how I smooth this on my skin. Which is another thing that I love about this brush. Because it's so soft and large, you can be very gentle with it. But I'm going to be straight up honest with you. If I had a job like I used to have years ago when I used to put my makeup on every day and go to work as a teacher, <clears throat> this brush, look how fast that is. This brush is so fast. And as far as cleaning it, oh my goodness. You can turn it around, too, and use the other side to pick up excess, which you cannot do with a brush like this. Okay, once you have the foundation on this surface, you, you can't turn it around, but you can with this, depending on how you use it, how you angle it. And the other thing that I love about this, because I have been using it not just for YouTube, is the shape. The way you hold it, there's little indentations right here, right here, and here. So the way you hold it, there's an indentation here. You can put your finger here and your other fingers and your thumb go in the indentations around where you hold this brush. So, it's, you're not going to fumble it. That's the foundation. And that looks pretty true to my skin tone. It feels a little, you know, tacky right at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Timu sponge... I believe that I got this sponge only came in a two pack, but I know where to get them so I can order them again and I think I paid a dollar for two. I'm just going to go over this with my sponge. Okay, see how much it's picking up? Look at this splot that I must have missed. The sponge was clean when I first started using it. I clean it before I use my sponges. Look at the product that it picked up. I'm going to go over my lips and then let that dry because I'm going to put on some lipstick. Okay, that looks really nice. This is not 
very liquidy, but it's not really stiff either. It let's let's do a test. Let's test. I'm going to go back on this hand and I'm going to put a pump. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to brush over the top of my hand with it. There's that smell. It doesn't smell like paint. I know I've smelt this before and I've been painting all weekend so it doesn't smell like paint. Now what I want to do is I want to show you my hands. This is with the IRL filter. Why did it change color on me? And this is without. Can you see the difference? I can. I've got finally coming the benefit brow. Uh, I don't know if it's called brow fix or whatever, but I've got it coming in the mail. I just placed that order because my other, my Elf and my Rodan and Fields are old and they're going to go in the trash or stash box. And all of the other eyebrow products that I have are pencil. So I wanted a brush on product and I've heard so many things over the last year about that product. I might do both. I might use the pencil and I might use that too but I do want to try it. If you hear any pounding in the background, it's my husband. He just bought a used bass pedal for his drum set. Okay, let's brush these a little bit. Now I know that the RMS Beauty blushes are getting rave reviews and I have two more colors of the Cloud Crush from Too Faced in my cart but I haven't purchased them yet because I'm rethinking I know that there's a big price difference it's like $40 I believe or $44 for the blush from RMS and it's $29 for the Cloud Crush so I can get two for just a little bit over the price of, you know, one plus shipping. So that's where I'm at right now with that. I don't get how it works. I don't get how products, some products go viral and some products don't and they're equally good. I haven't quite figured that out yet. It's a toss up between... Okay, let's look and see which would be the better color for today. This color here looks like more warm. Well, actually, I'm going to use this color today. And this is Skinny Dip. Okay, I made the right choice. For bronzer, I'm going to use the brush that I was using the other day because look at it, it's all full of bronzer. I and I just ordered some Sigma brushes because I've heard some wonderful things about those brushes and they're on sale. So um, tomorrow is the big launch for the Sigma quads. And I am I believe they're going for $19 a piece and I'm eyeshadow quads and I am like I'm gonna wait until 1201 tonight <laughs> I 
and this is a go this is these are gorgeous 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 blushes they're gorgeous and they smell so good I told you they almost smell like a donut shop and who does not love donuts oh my goodness honeydew donut oh cinnamon bun oh my mouth is watering look look how pretty this bronzer is you guys it's gorgeous I don't know what's going on but I hope that is so pretty I'm gonna have to go out tonight for another ice cream last night I made chocolate fraps the thick thick fraps I made them I've got one of those um, I don't know I forgot what it's called it's the mixer where you put everything you, you put everything inside the the plastic container and then you screw the um, the blades on top and you tip it over and you put it in and then you blow, blow. I forgot what it's called if you know what it's called write it in 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 uh, that was a Christmas gift one year because I was making smoothies and protein smoothies and I was drinking them every morning that was what I was doing when I lost 25 pounds okay I really like this I really like this and look at the sheen this is supposed to be a matte foundation and it's got this gorgeous sheen to it let me get in close really really like this really like this bronzer faithful incognito which is lighter and I'm gonna put a dot there and I'm gonna put a dot here and a dot here and a dot here same deal I'm gonna use this brush this is kind of thick but it's all right it's good that I'm using different brushes that way you guys can see that if you don't have a concealer brush you don't need to stress out about it use what you have use your fingers if that's all you have and you can put your um, foundation on with your fingers you can put your eyeshadow on with your fingers I mean what did man use when man didn't have tools their fingers <laughs> okay so it's just a big market is basically what it is which you know it's fun <laughs> all right now I'm gonna put on the cloud crush blush I'm gonna swirl tap look at the gorgeous sheen you do not need a highlighter with these blushes I mean you really don't oh and they smell so good I watched a content creator use these blushes and she raved about them she was the only person that I have seen so far and she I, when I saw her put them on I was like oh I gotta have I gotta have these blushes they are so pretty okay that's enough blush I'm gonna go back with the clean side of my sponge and I'm just going to tap all of that together for just to get up some of the excess and we'll see I'll show you okay just to kind of blend it look nothing came off so tell me that that doesn't set to your skin you 
Can you see anything? I can't. <laughs> Woo! I just proved that the Too Faced Cloud Crush blushes are to die for. I just proved it. Today I'm going to be putting on the Sigma New Mod eyeshadow, which I've only used twice. And I'm going to be using this color as my transition color and this color on my, either this or this, I think maybe this on my lid and maybe this on the outside. So let's see. Let's start with the transition color. This is a darker transition color. And I'm just going to circle and blend. It's pretty dark. raspberry color on my eyelid. Just on my eyelid. And these are so pigmented. I'm going to get a little fallout, but that's okay. See how I got some fallout here? Not going to worry about that right now. This, it's called Vogus underneath. And I'm using this end of the brush. And I'm just going to gently drag it underneath and pull it in to the shimmer. Now, I have got my little cloth handy. These dried out and I just wet them. And I'm going to clean that up. Both sides. incognito I mean you know this is taking a while because I'm demonstrating but if I were doing it for myself it would not be a big deal in with this matte off-white and I'm just going to cut underneath my eyebrow with it and 
and blend it down in to the transition color. Same with this side. going to use the Sephora eyeliner in electric teal and I'm going to use my pencil brush I'm not even using my magnifying mirror, so I have no idea how this is turning out. Not pretty. Lucky. Look at this one. Boy, you know. Okay. What do you think so far? It's pretty bright, isn't it? Isn't it fun, though? All right, I will be back with mascara, lipstick, let you know what I used, and we will go into the Elijah message. Okay, everybody, this is the final look. So I used the MAC Stack mascara, which I haven't used in a long time, but what I'm really impressed about is that I've been using my Nobu brow, my Nobu lash mascara for the most part and occasionally using the Nobu lash serum at night before I go to bed and my eyelashes which used to be stick straight out are now curling on their own I mean look at this side look at how they're curling up I don't even have to curl them that to me is phenomenal and then what I used for lipstick the Maybelline New York 379 a fuchsia for me cream lipstick I want to show you really quickly this beautiful picture I believe when I saw Elijah in my visions I at first didn't see his face. I saw his side view. I knew he had a beard of some sort. But when I had the intense quantum healing technique uh, hypnosis, I saw his face. And when I was downstairs the other day, I noticed, I mean, in my basement, poking around, I noticed this card because I had moved something and I thought that looks just like Elijah the Elijah that I've seen and this is the picture you may have noticed that I have put him up behind here spiritually and this is the burning bush and look at the wheel this is called transfiguration which is really transformation which is really upgrading ourselves from 3D living into 5D living. Moses and Elijah, symbolized here by the burning bush and the flaming chariot, represent the two great longings within one's soul. 
namely to know God and to be transfigured in the beatific vision one day. The burning bush is a symbol of the revelation of God's holy name to Moses. I am who I am. I look at the fact that this is about our soul and the messages are about our soul and our souls ascending, our, our souls rising while we're still in physical form. And as we change and we rise, we become transfigured. We change. We change in here. And then people begin to see the changes out here. Now, sometimes you're going to be changing and the people around you aren't going to like what they see. But other people will love it. And that's because the people closest to you want you to be a version of you that they want. Not the real you. Not the you that you are. Not the you that God intends you to be here on this planet as you rise up to the 5D. And the chariot? That could be an unidentified object. Who knows? But this is the perfect, perfect picture of the Elijah that I saw in my QHHT session, except for my Elijah had like greenish brown eyes. They weren't totally brown. Begin with the message and then I will let you all go for the week. And I hope this helps. Let me get steady here and centered and I'm gonna ask with my eyes open for all of you that Elijah, my guide, be present with us right now. And so it is. Amen. Hi, my friends. How are you today in this glorious day of time? matter and space. We say day, but it's really a timeline continuum where there is no end. Beginning and end meet and begin again. And this is why I say to those that want to hear, I do not violate anyone's will. They must want to know, want to hear, seek to understand, search for the answers within that time is different in 5D, in the ethers. Time has a continuum as well as an in and out, in and out fluctuation When you seek to find the answers within and you take the time to slow yourself down, breathe in, breathe out, you are changing the time continuum. How often is it that you will go somewhere and time seems to go by so quickly 
and then other times so slowly. Is this not an example of the power of the mind? It all begins in the mind. And when you elevate your mind, you're elevating your spirit and you're changing timelines. But you also have a will and that can never be violated. There are people that will go to you and give you good advice, spiritual advice, wisdom from the ages. But because you have a will and a strong ego, you listen for a minute time passes and it's gone. It takes more than that. It takes discipline. Self-discipline of the mind. We understand you are human and the mind will go and wander or it will run rampant with thoughts that really don't serve you at all. But because you are human, those thoughts take over. You can pull the reins in. You Hold the reins to the horses. Day by day, one day at a time, in Earth's construct, is different where I am. But I understand how it works. A circle can fit inside a box but a box cannot fit inside a circle. One evolves and one intersects and extends outward from every corner and upward and sideways from every corner. Geometrically, there are many options. With a circle, it's a spiral, a continuum that evolves and evolves and evolves. Be well, my friends. Take the time. Okay, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please help me out. If you stumble across my video, please subscribe. We're a family here. 
where the light fragments soul family liken it to a cafe and I'm glad you're here I hope you stay I hope you subscribe I hope you like my videos and I hope you click the notification bell to all to get subsequent uploads wish you well this week and I pray that you will take each day as it comes for what it is and know that you are blessed until next time my friends there's a kiss for ya you know I love ya a lot bye bye